Are you trying to share, copy, or back up your files here on the iPhone or the iPad, but you're running into trouble with file formats and compatibility issues? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use zip and unzip to easily copy, back up, and share any type of files here on your iPhone or your iPad. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and this is Studio Live Today where I help you create, record and release your best music. And if you've been creating music, you'll know that managing your files, especially here on the iPhone or the iPad, can become a challenge. The iOS file system is not compatible with other things like transferring to Dropbox, Google Drive and other cloud storage platforms, as well as being able to email and share your files with other people. So if you do want to back up or share your GarageBand files, your project files or any other types of files, here in iOS, then this video is for you. I'm going to show you how to use the very cool shortcuts app to create a zip and an unzip shortcut so that you can zip up files, share them, send them, copy them, and then unzip them again when you want to use them. So let's jump in now and I'll show you how. Now, the first thing that we need to do is to go to our app store and download the Shortcuts app. Now, Shortcuts used to be called Workflow and it was bought recently by Apple and then they made some <clears throat> improvements to it by removing some features. But anyway, it still has the ability to zip and unzip. So if you haven't got this, just hit the Get button. I've already got it here, so I'm gonna tap on Open and we're gonna jump into Shortcuts now. And once you've got Shortcuts installed, you're gonna get a screen that's gonna look a bit like this. So what we wanna do is create a couple of shortcuts here. So we're gonna tap on the Create Shortcut button and we're gonna come in here to our shortcut creator. Now, if we go to search at the top here, we wanna create an archive file. So we're gonna search for the word archive and we're gonna tap on make archive because this is the first thing that we wanna do. We wanna make a zip file out of whatever files we send to the shortcuts app. Now, the next thing I'm gonna add here is a quick look. I like to just add this in here. We'll just type quick in the search box and then tap on quick look. And once we tap on that, you'll notice it pops it straight here under make archive so we can layer up and get a whole bunch of steps in to our shortcut here. So Quick Look just opens it up so that we can see what's in the file before we actually go ahead and zip it or unzip it. So that's a cool feature to have. And finally, we want to save the file. So back up in our search box in the top left corner, we're going to type save and then we're going to tap on save file. And now it's going to ask us where we'd like to save this. And it's got servers here as iCloud Drive. If we tap on that, we can change it to Dropbox, but I leave it as iCloud Drive because you can then actually change the location to on my iPad or on my phone or any other cloud storage set setup that you have set in your files app. So if you don't know how to use the files app, I've got videos about that, which will be linked down the bottom and up the top there at the moment. But that is all we need to do. We are done. So before we do hit done though, we're just going to tap in the very top right on these little settings icons here, because we want to name this shortcut and give it an icon. So we're going to tap on that. We're going to delete the untitled shortcut. And we're just going to call this one zip and hit done. Now we'll change the icon to something that's going to be a little bit better. We'll make it red. And then what do I like to use for zip? I've got these arrows down here somewhere. Yeah, let's just make it, let's make that the zip, <laughs> the zip icon. And we'll do the other way for unzip. You can make any icon you like, it really doesn't matter. We're gonna tap on done and done and done. And there it is, there is our zip icon and our zip shortcut ready to go. So what we'll do now is we'll create our unzip shortcut and then I'll show you how we can use these with our files. Okay, so this should be very familiar now. We're gonna create our unzip shortcut. We're gonna tap on create shortcut. We get into our untitled shortcut here. Now this time we're gonna go archive again to search, but we're gonna tap on extract archive. So this, the first thing it's going to do is extract an archive based on whatever files that we actually give it. The next thing that we wanna do is our quick look again, like so. And then finally, we want to save this file. So we're gonna save file and there we go. So this one will extract an archive. So whatever zip or archive file we throw at it, it'll extract it, it'll show us what's inside and then it will save it. And again, we'll set that to iCloud Drive and ask where to save. We'll tap on our little options here in the top right. We'll name this one. We'll delete the untitled shortcut that we have there and we'll type in unzip and hit done. And then we'll change our icon here. We'll make this one green. And where were those arrows that we were using before? We'll do that one for our unzip icon. We'll hit done, we'll hit done, we'll hit done. And there we go. We've got two icons here now. We've got zip and unzip here in our shortcuts. These are ready to go. So let's jump into the files app now and I'll show you how to use these. 
Oh, and one more thing that I nearly forgot that's super important, and that is that we need to add these shortcuts to our share sheet. So I'll show you how to do that now. We're going to tap on the little three dots here on the zip, which is going to open up all of our options here. We're then going to tap on the little options in the top right here, these two little dots, our little settings, and then scroll down and go show in share sheet. We're going to select that and accepted types anything and hit done and done. We're going to do the same for our unzip. So tap on the three dots come into our settings by tapping the settings option in the top right, scroll down, show in share sheet, hit done and done. What this is gonna do is that when we go into our files app, we're gonna be able to share directly from our files app rather than having to go back into the shortcuts app. So let's jump over to files now and take a look. Alrighty, let's swipe down and we'll search for files and jump in to our files app. So here we've got our iCloud drive our on my iPhone or on my iPad, and then all of our cloud storage and any other file storage services are there. And once again, if you wanna learn more about using the files app to manage your files in iOS 11 or 12, check out the videos that I have linked down below. But for now, we're here in on my iPhone. I'm gonna to go to GarageBand because GarageBand.band files are the least compatible files across anything outside of the Apple universe. Universe. So unless you're sharing using iCloud Drive, then you're not going to be able to share a .band file because it's actually a folder full of other files. But when we zip it up, we can actually share it very easily. So let's do that now. We're going to tap select here in the top right corner, and we're going to tap on never to blame version five here. This is the one we'll share. Now the bottom left there, we're going to tap on the share icon. So we'll tap that one now. And this should be pretty familiar because this is how we normally share and copy any of our files here. But if we scroll down, you'll notice that we've now got another option here, which is called shortcuts. Let's tap on our shortcuts option. And here's some familiar little shortcuts. These are the ones we just created. So let's tap on zip. And what it's going to do, it's going to grab all of the files in that .band folder. And it's going to turn them into an archive, a .zip archive. Now, if we wanted to change the name, we could change it just there now, but we won't bother doing that. So what I'll do is I'll let this gather all these files together and make this archive, and we'll jump back in. In fact, it's already done. We'll jump back in and show you the next part. It's now doing its quick look. So it's actually going to load that up, and it's going to say, yep, here's never to blame. There's 170 megabytes, and it's 24 files. So this is the magic of using zip instead of that dot band file that nothing will recognize it's now a dot zip file with 24 files included inside and we can even do cool things like previewing the content if we tap on the preview content button there it's actually going to open this up and it's going to be very slow because these are going to be like uh, audio files and picture files and things but if you ever wanted to know what's inside a garage band file well now you can check it out here but we won't do that in too much detail for now we'll tap the little icon on the top left here to go back to our file and now now we're going to tap on done in the top left corner. It's now going to go and ask us where we want to save this. So what I can do is I can save this anywhere I want on my iPhone. I can save it to my Google Drive. I can save it to Dropbox, wherever I want to, anywhere that's integrated into here. And once we've saved it once, we can then transfer it as well. So it really doesn't matter. I'm just going to save it here into my GarageBand file transfer folder for now. We're going to tap on add and then it's going to transfer that file. So we are now done. We're just going to hit on done there. Now, if I go to on my iPhone GarageBand, and if we scroll down to the bottom here and find my GarageBand file transfer folder and go into there, there it is. Never to blame version 5.zip file is ready to go. We can now select this. We can move this. We can copy this. We can do whatever we want, and we can even copy it across to our Mac or our PC as a zip file, make it even easier to then back up and transfer and I've got another video showing you how to do that which I'll be refreshing very soon as well how to actually integrate these files back in using iTunes file sharing. But that is it. That is the simple process. What we'll now do is I'll quickly show you how to unzip a file once you have actually copied it back or if you receive a zip file from another user. So you're probably already ahead of me here. We're going to tap into the GarageBand file transfer folder. Here is our zip file. We're going to tap select and we're going to tap on the zip file. So wherever you've saved this, wherever it's been sent to you, if you've got it on your Dropbox or wherever it is, I suggest bringing it across to your iPhone or your iPad storage first because it makes it quicker and it's more compatible. I've had issues trying to unzip things directly in a Dropbox folder. It doesn't seem to work. So bring it over onto your phone first like we've done here and then we'll tap on the share icon in the bottom left and once again we'll scroll down and go to shortcuts and this time not surprisingly we're going to tap on unzip. And what it will do, it will extract the archive. So it's going ahead, it's extracting those files. There it is, it knows it's a GarageBand project, which is great, we'll tap done. 
and then it's going to ask us where we want to save this. So we'll save it here in the same location in the GarageBand file transfer folder. We'll tap add and there it is. It's saved right in here. If we tap on done, we can now open this project directly from here. So we'll tap on the project. It's going to open it up in GarageBand and we're going to be ready. Here it goes. It's loading it up and then we're going to be ready to start adding to this project, to playing it back, to doing whatever we want to do. So a great way to not only back up your own files, put them onto your cloud storage services, free up some space on your phone or your, or your iPad, but you can also share your project files with other folks without having to use iCloud file sharing. And if you do want to use iCloud file sharing, I've got another video about how to do that because you can actually collaborate live with another user on the same track, which you can't do using this method. But if you want a simple method of being able to zip up, share, and then unzip your project files here in GarageBand or any other iOS files, then this is a quick and simple way to go. And there you go. This is super powerful. You've now got the ability to zip up any types of files right here in the Files app, create that zip file, then share it through all of your cloud storage platforms, and then be able to unzip it at the other end. So all you need to do if you're sharing it with someone else is share them this video, and then they'll be able to unzip any of the files that you send them through Dropbox, through Google Drive, through any other platform. I hope you found this useful. If you've got any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can leave those down in the comments, and I'll see you on the next video. Hey, thanks for sticking around. We've got two more sets of videos right down below that you can check out. You can also subscribe to the channel by clicking on the Studio Live Today icon in the top right corner, or you can head on over to studiolivetoday.com for even more audio goodness.